What's next for Whole Foods? Insects or cannabis? Active NFL player quits over NFL's cannabis drug policy. Facebook is making changes. Anti-vaccination groups out. Cannabis in. All on today's News Roach. And welcome to the non-existing headquarters of the News Roach, where I sift through the best weed stories that you might have missed and pass them over to you. As always, you are welcome to subscribe at the bottom of this page. But for now, let's get started. Cannabis at White Fools? Sorry, I mean Whole Foods? Well, according to Whole Foods CEO John Mackey, if cannabis becomes legal in Texas, Whole Foods might start looking into cannabis products. The surprising statement came from the CEO the other day when he was asked about alternative protein sources for the store, as in bugs and insects. John Mackey explained that if cannabis is ever passed in Texas, chances are good, chances are good that grocery stores will be selling that too. You never know what will happen over time with markets. They change and evolve. Indeed, they do. After being acquired by Amazon, Whole Foods hired a trend spotter who predicted that Cannabis and hemp products would be more available often in the U.S. market. Duh. But for now, Whole Foods is waiting on Texas to legalize cannabis. But he's open to hemp in the meantime. Hemp hearts, seeds, oils are nothing new to food and body care lovers. They're in everything from waffle mix to dried pasta, he states on their website. So sit tight, white fools, and soon you can buy your weed, kale, and free-range tofu all in one place. Facebook has come under scrutiny as of lately. Apparently, after letting all the Russian trolls run amok all over Facebook, they have now decided to clamp down on groups spreading misinformation and vac about vaccines. According to The Guardian, anti-vaccine groups and ads outperforming legit vaccine pages and information on Facebook. So, anti-vaccines are out, but now cannabis is in? Yes, for the first time. Facebook is considered letting cannabis vendors advertise on Facebook without fear of censorship. The idea would allow vendors to post prices and products, but not allow through sales on Facebook yet though. This sounds all good and groovy, but it's going to be hard to figure out who's actually over 21. Is it legal in the area where it's advertised and if the vendor has a permit to operate? These are all good concerns, but Facebook already has a filter system for tobacco advertisement doing just that. It just hasn't been implemented yet, but stand by. So soon, one of these days, you might be able to see your first ad for cannabis on Facebook. Okay, last story. Dallas Cowboys defensive lineman David Irving surprisingly quit the Cowboys and the NFL altogether the other day, announcing on Instagram that, quote, basically, guys, I quit. They want to talk about suspension and all this other nonsense. I'm out of here. I'm not doing this shit anymore. No more. End of quote. Irwin had recently been suspended indefinitely by the NFL for his second violation of the drug policy and not feeling the love. He pressed play on his camera, held up a joint, and before posting it on Instagram, said, pass the blunt, bro. End of quote. He continued to explain why he's leaving the NFL. Quote, there's a lot of fucking up shit with the NFL, man. As you all know, I voice my opinion about this medicine right here. We got this opiate thing going on, and I'm prescribed all this bullshit. I just think it's bullshit that we got to deal with that policy. Everyone thinks this is about smoking weed. It's not about smoking weed. It's much bigger than that. End of quote. In Urban's post, he took issue with the fact that a lot of other athletes and also actors and others would openly flaunt their cannabis use while football players were punished for the same things. Quote, I have Xanax bars, hydros next to me to take, given to me by the NFL, of course. However, we can't smoke the same weed the staff itself smokes. End of quote. Last year, Urban earned $2.9 million. Now, he's not the first player to quit over this policy. I don't know if you guys remember Ricky Williams, a former player who also chose to walk away from the sport in 2012 over the same issue. Ricky Williams has since become a cannabis advocate and with a degree in Chinese medicine and yoga. William owns cannabis own cannabis brown brand Real Wellness launched in 2018 and the link is below. He also opened up a gym called Power Plant Fitness in San Francisco for stoners. 
He also helped open up the first Stoner Olympics, the 420 Games, and that's the first time I met and reported uh, on him, the first time I got to interview him. Now, the next time the games come back into town, I will, of course, do a little special about that. But I will do a little special before that about what the games are all about. I want to thank you so much for watching this episode of The News Roach. As always, feel free to uh, subscribe below, like and or comment. And you're more than welcome to share this episode. And do please remember that TC is part of healthcare. Thank you for watching.